Here's your wrestling news for October 5th, 2021. And your headlines for today include WWE backstage reaction to the 2021 draft revealed. Why didn't WWE tell superstars where they'd be drafted before the show? More names drafted after Raw. Who's going where? Huge disrespectful botch happens on Raw. Why is Goldberg competing at Crown Jewel? Two huge title matches announced for Saudi Arabia. Raw saves biggest draft pick ever for last round and more. We are kicking off with the 2021 WWE Draft as Night 2 saw some huge picks, including SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch heading to Raw and the red brand picking Olympian Gable Steveson. Night 2 saw SmackDown draft the likes of Shayna Baszler, who's been on a tear in recent weeks, as well as NXT 2.0 superstars Ridge Holland and Zia Lee. There were a lot of surprises during the entire WWE Draft, but things were much different backstage. A source from WWE's creative team who spoke to Ringside News said that in comparison to previous years, this has been the tamest draft behind the scenes, and that there were no heated debates or arguments within creative about who should go where. The reason why there were no debates is because most of the decisions were made without input from creative, as WWE is more likely to listen to their network partners and keep them happy, rather than listen to their own team of writers. A previous report said that there had been table banging at one point, but we couldn't confirm if that took place, as a different report from October 1st said that all the draft picks had been decided. Now WWE's network partners have their new rosters and will be able to market Raw and SmackDown accordingly, and despite some massive picks over the past week, things weren't heated at all backstage. More draft news as on Talking Smack last week, a total 19 names were drafted, with names like John Morrison, R-Truth, Nia Jax, and Tony Storm all being assigned to a brand. Being drafted to a certain show will determine a lot of a superstar's career for the next 12 months, but WWE didn't give any wrestlers who were part of the supplemental draft a heads up. PW Insider reports that no superstars who were picked on Talking Smack were told about being drafted ahead of the show, and they only found out about it when they got on social media. The WWE Draft is one of the company's most unpredictable nights of the year, with plenty of shocks and surprises, and for these 19 superstars, the biggest surprise is that their names were actually called without their knowledge. It's not just the superstars in the supplemental draft that were kept in the dark, as traditionally, even those picked on TV aren't informed where they'll be going ahead of the show. It isn't uncommon for WWE to keep their draft choices close to the chest, but things were much different this year. When PW Insider asked a source in WWE about the company withholding information from talent, the source defended WWE, saying that the roster may have only found out about their future on TV, but they have plenty of time to prepare. The report states, in speaking to one WWE source, they defended the company, noting that the moves won't take effect for several weeks, so it wasn't as if someone found out on Saturday that they were now traveling to Raw at the last second. WWE superstars have weeks left before the results of the draft take place, and that's the reasoning why no one knew just exactly what show they'd be on before the picks were announced live on TV. Night 2 of the WWE draft may be over, but that didn't stop more picks being made after the show. During Raw Talk, even more names were picked, as the red brand chose Liv Morgan, The Miz, Cedric Alexander, Shelton Benjamin, Tamina, and Tegan Knox. Mia Yim, Dana Brooke, Dolph Ziggler, and Robert Roode will all be Raw exclusive superstars too, as will Veer and Jackson Riker. For SmackDown, the blue brand gets Jinder Mahal, Shanky, Shotzi Blackheart, and Natalya. These picks won't come into effect until after Crown Jewel, as only time will tell who shines brightest in the next 12 months after the 2021 WWE Draft. One of the biggest picks Raw made this year was Bianca Belair, who has been one of 2021's most impressive stars. On last night's Raw, Belair faced off against Raw Women's Champion Charlotte Flair, who was drafted to SmackDown last Friday, in a match worthy of the main event. Sure, the match ended via DQ when SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch attacked Belair, only to be attacked herself by Sasha Banks, but the fact that women headlined both nights of the draft was a huge statement on how highly WWE sees this group. As a Royal Rumble winner and WrestleMania main eventer, Belair is sure to be pushed to the top of Raw inevitably, but judging by last night, she's going to have to wait a while longer. After Crown Jewel, her program with Banks and Lynch will end, and unless she wins the SmackDown Women's title in Saudi Arabia, the EST will start on Raw without any championship gold, meaning she'll have to start over on her climb of the Red Brand's women's roster. 
It's unlikely that Belair will win gold at Crown Jewel, as given that Lynch only recently won the title and Banks only recently returned, the EST of WWE feels at times like the third wheel in this storyline. Instead, Belair is far more likely to leave Saudi Arabia empty-handed and will therefore be starting all over again on Raw. With her talent in the ring and continued popularity, we're confident that Belair will make it to the top of Raw just like she did on SmackDown, but fans who are wanting to see her as Raw Women's Champion will just have to wait. Belair and Flair put on an excellent match on Raw, but this wasn't the first ever encounter between the two. It was only last year that Flair pinned Belair on the February 26, 2020 NXT, a show that Adam Pearce must have skipped. Opening up night two of the draft, Pearce announced that Flair and Belair would be facing off for the first time ever, which so clearly wasn't the case. Had this match happened in another company, we could excuse Pierce if he was deliberately acting like the 2020 encounter had it happened, but this match happened on WWE programming and should be acknowledged as such. Not only that, but NXT is on the very same network as Raw, and someone should have done the research and informed Pierce that their fantastic match last night wasn't the first ever encounter between the Queen and the EST. We certainly hope this was a botch, as it'd be massively disrespectful of WWE if they didn't treat NXT matches as if they happened, and we can only hope Pierce avoids similar mistakes in the future. During night two of the WWE draft, SmackDown didn't waste any time selecting the Usos, as they were the first pick on night two for the blue brand. It makes sense that the SmackDown Tag Team Champions are staying on SmackDown, but we're questioning why WWE teased the idea that the pair would move to Raw, which would further the friction between Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman, only to not follow through. Had the Usos gone to Raw, it would have left the Tribal Chief without his cousins, and between that and the growing issues with Heyman, would have added another layer to his upcoming Universal title defense against Brock Lesnar at Crown Jewel. Instead of having his cousins to help out with the Beast, the Tribal Chief would have no choice but to go it alone against Lesnar, who continues to build momentum ahead of Crown Jewel. The Usos going to Raw also would have meant Paul Heyman would have been in big trouble with the head of the table, which surely would have led to some fantastic segments between the two this Friday on SmackDown. Instead, the Usos went to SmackDown exactly as Reigns had requested, and things stay exactly the same for the Bloodline. That's not inherently a bad thing, as the Bloodline have been arguably the best thing going in WWE for the past year, but we're questioning why WWE would tease a split and tease dissension between Reigns and Heyman just to not follow through with any of these plans. Bill Goldberg appeared on last night's show in his first live appearance since his WWE Championship match at SummerSlam. On the show, the former Universal Champion confronted Bobby Lashley, and an old holds barred match was made official for Crown Jewel. A Lashley vs. Goldberg rematch had been expected ever since their SummerSlam encounter, despite the Hall of Famer already having had two matches this year, fulfilling his two matches a year contract. During Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer explained that Goldberg has a specific deal relating to Saudi Arabia. If WWE had the Goldberg-Lashley rematch on a non-Saudi event, it had result in the WCW legend losing out on millions of dollars and would presumably hurt WWE's relationship with the Saudis if they didn't provide one of their biggest part-time stars. On last week's Raw, Goldberg threatened to kill Lashley for what the Almighty did to his son Gage at SummerSlam, and with the WWE Championship no longer a factor, and this no-holds-barred stipulation now confirmed for the Saudi show, we'll have to see who stands tall in Saudi Arabia in this rematch. Or Crown Jewel news as two more title matches have been announced for the show in Saudi Arabia. It's been confirmed by WWE that Raw Tag Team Champs RK-Bro will be defending the gold against AJ Styles and Omos in a rematch from SummerSlam where RK-Bro won the titles. This is an interesting announcement given that Orton missed live events, TV, and Extreme Rules for a personal matter, but with the Viper returning on last night's Raw, it appears this matter is now behind the Raw Tag Team Champion. Raw also saw a WWE title match be announced as on the show, Drew McIntyre and Big E teamed this week to defeat the Dirty Dogs. Post-match, McIntyre held Big E's WWE title and issued a challenge to the champion, and the match will go down at Crown Jewel. With the draft results not going into effect until October 22nd, McIntyre is still a Raw superstar for the time being, but he plans on bringing the WWE title to SmackDown on October 21st. And we're ending with the WWE Draft as plenty of superstars found a new home on last night's Raw, 
but arguably the biggest pick is yet to compete in a WWE ring. In the sixth round of night two, Raw selected Olympic gold medalist Gable Steveson in what was a huge selection by the Red Brand. It's unknown when Steveson will actually be on Raw as he's currently wrapping up his time at the University of Minnesota and is also preparing for his life in WWE thanks to a remote training center set up by the promotion. It appears that Steveson will skip NXT 2.0 when he fully joins WWE and will make the jump to Raw, and there will be plenty of high expectations for the NCAA champion when he eventually debuts on the red brand. Whether Steveson lives up to these expectations remains to be seen, but with WWE giving such a massive focus to someone who's yet to have a match in the company, Vince McMahon clearly has faith in WWE's latest Olympic gold medalist. Well guys, that's our news for today, please share your comments below! Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications! And as always, thanks for watching!